Hey everybody, it's Jamie, hey K the Bag Lady. It is Wednesday, um, August 13th, and what I've got for you is a just a little pop-up um handbag and wallet sale. Um, I've been cleaning <laughs> cleaning bags and I didn't really have I didn't have any boxes on order or anything like that to unbox for you guys, so I thought, you know what? I got all these bags cleaned up. Why not have like a little midweek bag sale? So for those of you that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. So let's talk about rules of engagement. If you see something here that you like, email me, jamiewhitenight at icloud.com. Um, and I will respond back with a price um, or you know confirmation that your bag is available. And then I will um, send out a PayPal request and um, all bags will get shipped out on Wednesday, or I'm sorry, not Wednesday, Friday. Um, so let's see what else do I need to talk about. Oh yeah, so um, I do keep a sold list in the comments. I do pin it at the top of the comments. So make sure that you're exiting the video and checking the comments to see if the bag that you're requesting is still available. I don't have many today, you guys. I've only got about 12. Um, and I think going forward, I am going to, I'm gonna probably do more bag sales, but have less bags on hand. Um, you know, and then sprinkle in some mystery unboxings when I can get them. But y'all know I was on vacation and I was at the bins. So um, I didn't order any boxes. Um, and so far, I haven't ordered any this week either. So um, I did have the opportunity on Friday to order an America's Thrift Supply box, and I just went ahead and passed. So um, I, I was too busy been shopping. <laughs> so anyway, with that, let's get on with this bag sale, you guys. Um, the first item up that I have is and you guys saw this in my bins haul video um but this is a super cute little betsy johnson backpack it is yellow it has a top handle and then you also have your backpack straps this is pretty tiny it would be really really cute for a little girl um and it does have like a little doggy on here, and I cannot remember the name of this little doggy. Is it a Boston Terrier, maybe? But it's so stinking cute. And look, it's got the chain, and that opens the outside zipper pocket. You've got your um, classic floral Betsy Johnson lining in there. You've got Betsy Johnson detailing, silver tone hardware, little quilted detailing, super cute. Um, I was these don't open. Um, but anyway, you've got Betsy Johnson logo on your hardware. Oh, and also your little rivets here are heart shaped, which I think is so cute. Um, anyway, you open her up and inside, oh my God, you guys, I forgot to get a thing for my stuffing. You know, it's going to make me crazy. So inside you have a slip pocket on this side and then you have a zip pocket across the back. Zipper runs like butter, y'all. And then you've got your Betsy Johnson logo right there. So for this cute, sweet little backpack, I am asking $15 with a $10 ship. She will definitely, definitely fit in a priority envelope. So how cute is that? Um, next piece up is a, is a bag I thrifted today, y'all. This is a pale pink faux Safiano, um, little satchel with sil silver tone hardware. And then it's got the adjustable strap. It is set pretty short right now. It's set more to like a shoulder bag style but you could definitely make it longer or you could remove it all together and just carry it by its satchel. But this I thought was so, so cute. Um, no edge coat wear whatsoever. Again, you've got silver tone hardware. 
You've got your little hang tag here that says Steve Madden. You've got your branding up here. Um, you also have branding on your um, removable crossbody strap or shoulder strap, however you choose to wear it, and on the logo. There is the bottom. She's pretty clean. Pretty clean bag, you guys. Very, very pale, light pink. And open her up. There's your inside, your black interior. You have an inside zip pocket that runs. Super, super clean in there. And then, there you go. That's your tag down there. So for the Pale Pink Steve Madden, I am asking 15 with um, a $10 ship. And honestly, you guys, the most expensive bag that I have tonight is $25. Holla, holla. So, um, yeah, this is really kind of a little blowout bag sale. Um, but anyway, I thought this was really, really adorable. So I picked it up at the thrift today when I went out. Um, next bag. Uh, it's actually not a bag. The next piece up is this. It is a black wallet. It is by um, P Travel. It is a leather wallet, um, but what's really cool about this is it's actually, it's not really a wallet. It is, it can be used as a wallet, but actually when I um, Google lensed it to find out about the piece, it's actually, it actually fits a passport. This, that's what it is for, is a passport. How you open it, you've got this little leather tab that's got the logo with the P Travel on it. Um, look how pretty that is. The black leather with the gold tone hardware. Open it up. It is RFID protected. You've got credit card slots. You can slip your passport in here or in here. Um, you, like I said, you got credit card slots. You also have a place up here for bills. I don't believe this piece has ever been used. It still has its paper inside of it. Um... And you do have a little nub here that you could probably put a tiny pen in if you wanted to. Um, and then close her up. You also have a little zipper compartment there. So new without tag situation, wallet or passport holder, whatever you want to use it for. I thought it was really cute. I picked it up. So we're going to go $10 with... Um, We'll do $5 shipping on this. All right, next up is, oh, and I did pick, I picked that up thrifting today. Next bag up is this Tignanello. Um, I did pick this one up today thrifting. It is black with silver tone hardware. You've got cream down the middle. And then you also have a little teeny tiny stripe of gray there. And then your zipper pull on the back of the bag is also gray or mushroom, what, however you want to call it. You do have an outside zipper pocket. Zipper runs like butter. Then you've got your classic Tignanello lining in there. Um, this is either a satchel or a shoulder bag. Um, you do have your Tignanella branding around the, uh, the silver tone hardware. And then you've got like in here, you've got that mushroom color um, leather and then stitching detail. And then you see your bag's got some stitching details as well. Really, really pretty bag. <clears throat> There's your bottom, you've got feet, your edges. Fun, fun, fun little bag. Here is your straps. They look really, really good. Now, this does not have a zipper closure. It has a magnetic snap closure. And it really, it's really magnetic, y'all. Inside, you've got three sections on the inside. Oh my God, it's gonna make me crazy with this paper on the floor, y'all. 
So there is your inside. You do have a center zip section. Um, here is your branding along with your inside zipper pocket, zipper runs. On the back side of the bag, you do have your slip pockets and then your center section zips. So you could put your, y'all know how I am. I like a zipper across the top of the bag. So if you spill your bag, your stuff doesn't fall out, but you could put your important stuff in the center zip section. Um, this is a great, great, great little bag. So cute. And there's your bottom again and your corners. Um, so for this Tignanello, I'm asking 20 with a $10 ship. Now, if you get multiple bags, um, shipping will be $15. I won't go any higher than $15, but multiple bags will be $15. So that's the Tignanello. Let's see. Next up, we have, oh, this bag is so stinking cute, you guys. Uh-oh, and I forgot a piece. All right, so this is a red fabric with leather trim nylon fossil with its key. Look at these handles, you guys, how beautiful they are in the leather detailing. Your bottom's got leather and feet. And then you have your fossil branding embossed in your hardware here. Then you also have your fossil embossed key. This is strictly a satchel. You would carry it like that, or you would carry it like that by the handle. Again, here is your bottom. And there is a mark right here. And I did go over this bag with tub of towels, um, but it didn't touch that little spot. So other than that, that's all I saw really on this bag. And again, that is just a little, let's see if I can get it. It's right, right there. Um, but anyway, there's your, the way it looks when you look at it from the top. You do have a little leather, um, I don't even know what you would call that, but it's magnetic. And you do have three sections in this bag as well. So you've got a center zip section with a leather pull tab. There you go. It's really pretty clean in here. Um, you got a couple slip pockets on that side. You've got, um, you do, your lining is um, logo lining. It does say fossil. And then on this side, you actually have your branding, your little leather patch with your bag number on it and then an inside zipper pocket. This is a super, super duper cute bag. When I first found it, I looked inside and I found a crossbody strap in there and I got really, really super excited because I thought, oh, cool. You know, because very, very rarely do you find a bag with its crossbody. Excuse me, you guys. But anyway, um, lo and behold, the crossbody strap that was inside this bag didn't actually belong to this bag. This bag does not have a crossbody strap. Um, I suppose you could attach one if you wanted to on the um, little rings here, but the strap that came with this bag was actually a Dooney and Burke strap. So anyway, for the red fabric fossil, um, I'm asking 25 with a $10 ship. This is actually... Um, one of two bags that's 25 everything else is cheaper so um definitely definitely nice prices tonight but this is a great little bag especially with fall coming up even though i hate to say that four letter word um 
Next up is a piece that I found up thrifting today, and I found that red bag thrifting. This is a coach wristlet. It is um, metallic silver and tan with silver tone hardware. Um, let's see. I did see a little boo-boo right there um, on the strap, and that's it. So you've got your C's for coach. This really, really feels nice, like nice fabric. On the back side, you have an outside zipper pocket with um, like a light blue interior or maybe gray. And then you open it up on the top, it's gray. <laughs> There you got you have your credit card slips, your slip pocket, and then on this side you have a couple more slips. Now there is inside here, there is one little ink mark. I tried my darndest to get that out with um I used 91% alcohol, could not touch it. Well, I mean I shouldn't say that. I lightened it up, I just couldn't get it all the way out. Uh-oh. Hey guys, I'm filming. That's all right. Um, Frank doesn't like for anybody to leave Zach's bedroom, and Zach's got a couple buddies over. So anyway, on this coach wristlet, metallic silver and tan. Um, I am asking fifteen dollars with a six dollar ship. Next piece up is a black coach, black leather coach. Um, crossbody bag, super cute. It has um, an outside magnetic closure flat pocket um, with black lining. And then you open it up. You've got your inside. There you go. You have an inside zipper pocket, zipper runs. No, um, no slip though. So anyway, this is, again, it's like a, it's a cross body. It does have an adjustable strap. So you could make it a shoulder strap or a shoulder bag if you wanted. Um, silver tone hardware. I love this bag. This bag came from the bins. It is not perfect by any means. There is a little bit of wear around here but the bag has a shit ton of life left in it love the buckle detailing on the front um so this black leather coach crossbody bag oops my i was looking at the wrong page um is 25 dollars with a 10 dollars ship it'll fit in a priority envelope so it'll go anywhere for ten dollars and sixty cents so, um, $25, $10 ship. Next bag up is another bag that I found at the bins or that was given to me at the bins by one of my lovely lady friends. Um, this is a um, blue B. Mikowski bag. Um, this bag is so flipping fun, you guys. Um, super, super soft leather. You've got studded detailing all over the bags. You've got zippers, zipper pockets on the front. And these are actually good pockets, you guys, with satin, green satin lining in there. And um, I think it was Stephanie that called this a bird's egg blue bag. Now, I will tell you, I did, when I was cleaning up the bag, I did come across, it does have some spots. Um, but I didn't want to rub too hard, you guys, because I noticed the color blue coming up on my cloth and I didn't want to rub the color out of the bag. So there is a few little, um, boo-boos on there, but other than that, um, also the, um, edge coat is worn off on the straps. But honestly, I think it just adds a little kick to the bag. Um, it kind of gives it that little, a little bit of a distressed look. 
you do have your B. Mikowski hang tag here. Um, you've got a little slip pocket on the back side of the bag. Again, your studded details. You've got B. Mikowski on your buckles on the straps. This bag, I don't care if it's a little worn and it has a few little dings on it. This bag is cool as hell. I mean, you throw it up on your shoulder, it weighs little and nothing. Um, you, it, it, and even with the buckle hardware, it really doesn't hardly weigh anything. And then your zipper pull with studded detail. Open it up. And here's the inside of your bag. You've got your inside zipper pocket. Zipper runs like butter, y'all. And you've got your branding. You've got slip pockets. And just a wonderful green satin lining. So for this B. Mikowski that's got a few little issues, there is a little bit of edge coat wear around there. It does not affect the integrity of the bag. And in fact, when you have the straps up, you don't even see it. Um, so for the Bird's Egg Blue um, B. Mikowski, and again, I'm looking at the wrong page, um, 20 with a $10 ship. And like I said, if you get multiple bags, it'll be 15. So there's that. Um, next up is, um, I can't ever do a show without this bag, you guys. Or I should say without this brand. We have Vera, Pink Vera. It's a Pink Vera Bradley tote bag. Um, You've got side pockets on each side. Um, it's pink with, you know, floral detail. And you know what? I'm not going to lie, you guys. I have the same exact bag. I used to carry it um, as a work bag. And I would throw, you know, like munchies and things in there or whatever. Whatever I happen to be carrying back and forth to work is what I put in there. But anyway, um... There's no closure or anything like that. It's just a, a little cute little tote. And there's your inside. I truly think, you guys, this is like a new without tag situation. Or if it was used, it was used once or twice. You've got branding in there. You have an inside zipper pocket. Very small inside zipper pocket. Um, But... Again, I think this is a new without tag situation. This is washable. It does have in the bottom here, um, there's a cardboard piece down here and it is removable so that you can throw this bad boy in the washing machine if you ever need to. So for the pink Vera tote, I'm asking 10 bucks with a $6 ship. She is cute, y'all. All right, so I am going to have to go and get this next piece. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to move on. I'll go grab the, the I'll go grab that piece last. All right, next up is going to be it is a navy sack. This is or well blue. Not well, I guess it is navy. Navy leather silver tone hardware in um, embossed with the sack. You've got brown leather detailing outside zipper pocket on the back, tan lining. You've got an outside zipper pocket on the front. Super clean. Really cool little braided um, zipper pull leather trim. You've got it on the top of the bag too. Now this is got an adjustable strap. You can cross body it. You could shoulder it if you wanted. Um, you could definitely make the strap as short as you want. Cute, cute, cute little bag. $10. 
Tap zip closure. <laughs> y'all, I'm tired. It's almost 10 o'clock. I worked in the office today. And y'all know I just got back from Minnesota on Sunday. And those girls wore me out. It was a great trip, though. I Oh, my God. I had so much fun. But anyway, I'll save it. All right. Here's your inside. You do have a little bit of smudging around the top. Um, that's... It's from going in and out of the bag. And I tried, I used tub of towels to try to get it out. It was not coming out. But inside, you've got your sack branding. You've got an inside zipper pocket, which is also a slip. So behind the zipper pocket is a slip. Then you've got your branding. And then your zipper pocket right here. And on this side, you've got a couple slip pockets. Now, there is a little bit of staining down in the bottom of this bag. And I could not pull the lining out or else I would have tried to do a better job cleaning it. But you do have a little bit of ink at the bottom of the bag, a little bit of smudging, but still a great bag overall. For this sack... $20 plus $10 ship. So there's that. And the last, well, not the, the next to last piece that I have to show you is this Lotus snake print clutch that I found at the binge, y'all. Um, she does have some wear around the corners. Not going to lie. There is a little bit of scratching um, on your Lotus, but she is a really, really cute piece. Open her up. Inside, you have Lotus branding embossed down here. You've got credit card slots. You have an ID window, and you've got a little hidey ho there, the bill slot, another bill slot, and then a zipper, a zipper compartment. This piece, you guys, feels so nice. Um, the leather on the inside is like, it is so soft, you guys. Um, and there's lots of life left in this piece. And again, it does say Lotus here. When I looked it up, it's called the Quinn Clutch. It does retail for $129. Um, and comps were all over the place, actually, on this. Um, but for you guys, I'm asking $15 plus a $6 ship. Let me go grab the last item that I have for sale. And y'all know I can't edit that shit out. <laughs> All right. And, of course, while I was up, I grabbed a bag for my stuffing because, you know, it makes me crazy to have the stuffing all over the floor. But anyway, so the last piece up is this Dooney and Burke um, crossbody strap that I found inside the, um, the, the red fossil. So, it does have this type of I would call it kind of like a button type closure it's not your typical hook for the strap but it does say is embossed with Dooney and Burke on the rivets and on the flip side of the buckle it is embossed solid brass. This is a brown strap with the yellow stitching. And it does really appear to be in great, great condition. Um, and you can definitely make it longer if you want, not shorter. 
So anyway, for the Dooney and Burke strap, I'm asking $15 with probably five bucks shipping. Um, but I mean, of course, if you combine it with other things, then, you know, shipping will be, if, if everything will fit into a priority envelope that you buy, then shipping will be a straight $10. Um, if I have to pack it in a box and there's multiple items, it will be 15. But anyway, you guys, that concludes my little midweek bag sale. Um, I hope you like the pieces that I brought to you today. Um, you know, how shit, I got tired of cleaning shoes, you guys. I cleaned um, all the shoes from my bins haul the other day. I listed yesterday, I listed, um, I forgot how many pairs of shoes I listed. And I actually sold the Sam Edelman boots like probably within an hour of listing. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, all in all, you guys, back to my, back to the trip. I mean, cause that's really all I have for story time. Cause <laughs> I got home Sunday around 11 o'clock in the morning, like home to my house because my flight was at 6 a.m. I was so tired, you guys. I spent, um, well, you know, I sat and chatted with Zach for a little bit and then, um, I hopped in the bed probably around one o'clock and took a fat nap. I'm telling you, a fat nap. I was tired. And then I got up around probably four and I was starving. So Zach and I ordered, ordered in. In fact, I mean, I didn't even cook on Sunday, you guys. That's how tired I was. So, um, and then Monday, yesterday, I worked from home. And, you know, I, you know, I did my day job and then I did a little bit of listing, um, on my lunch hour, I got a bunch of shoes listed and I was, I was actually in bed early again last night. You guys, I was so still so tired. And even today I'm tired. I went to the office and I'm all in. So once I get done recording this video, I'm going to dive back in the, that bed. I'm going to tell you what, Janet. Pat and stuff wore my ass out, but it was amazing, truly amazing to meet those ladies in person, to be able to hug them, um, and just spend, it was like, it, it, honestly, it was like being with four old friends, um, and I mean, they are old friends, but you know, we were all just, we always had just texted and things like that, except for Janet and I, we had FaceTimed, um, but amazing amazing trip um so with that you guys i don't really know i might bring a th bring you a thrift haul on friday it all depends on what i find this week i did find some pretty good bags today i did not bring them all to you because i just didn't feel like cleaning them all um so i may be back friday morning with a video not 100 percent sure but i will for sure be back with a saturday morning bag sale this was just a little midweek teaser for you all. So with that, I am out. Peace.